Can you solve this absolute value equation? The first thing to notice is that x is the right hand side and the result of the absolute value is always a positive quantity. So this means x must be at least zero. With this in mind, let's take a look at two methods to solve this problem. The first method is to square both sides, which many people prefer to do to get rid of the troublesome absolute value altogether. Squaring both sides, we get the following equation after expanding. We can group like terms and then divide everything by 8 to simplify the quadratic equation. We can then factor and we get x equals 1 and x equals 2 as our two solutions. Notice that both these solutions satisfy our criterion we set at the beginning, so we're good to go. The second method is the more typical approach, and it's to consider both the positive and negative versions of whatever's inside the absolute value. In this case, we have 4 minus 3x. This can be equal to positive x, in which case x will be equal to 1, or it can be equal to negative x, because the absolute value of 4 minus 3x will be x in either case. The second option gives us x equals 2. And again, these satisfy the condition, and the two results are the same regardless of which method you choose. 